the British public and syrup lovers of the world were in shock after noticing a dark and depressing detail on an iconic tin's label. How could something that has been in the public eye for so many years just be seen? In this video we take a look into subliminal messages and the brand labels that are hiding them. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. Lyle's Golden Syrup has been a sweet treat for generations. The iconic tin has been hiding a macabre detail for years. Since 1885 the design of the tin has remained vastly unchanged. The images that adorn the front of the container largely ignored until now. Fans of the sticky treat have just discovered that the label had something which left a few of them a little traumatized. In the center of the label is a yellow lion. Most assumed the beast was sleeping, but look a little closer. Are they flies circling the lion's corpse? They are not actually flies, but bees and the image is taken from a biblical story. In the tale Samson kills a lion with his bare hands. When he returns to the carcass a few days later he noticed a swarm of bees had built a hive inside. So Samson took the honey and gave it to his parents. When asked where he got it from he said, out of the eater something to eat, out of the strong something sweet. This image has been missed for years and it's not the only one. Logos stay with companies for many years, often getting overhauled and redesigned, but keep a core design element for brand recognition. Often the meaning of these logos or let's say symbols are lost and people see the design and think of a product, often not thinking about any subliminal messages it may contain. These messages can show something innocent like a tribute to their hometown or influence us subconsciously into thinking about a product in a certain way. Let's take a look at these 10 logos and their hidden messages. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have spotted these before. Also stick around to see how the subliminal messaging has been used over the years to manipulate and influence people like you. The first logo is that of NBC. The white space in NBC's logo forms a peacock. This is thought to represent NBC as loud and proud news broadcasters. The peacock is also a symbol of incorruptibility, awakening and royalty. Are they trying to announce themselves as the royalty of media? Another well known brand is BMW. The white parts of the logo represent a propeller while the blue section symbolize the sky. This because the car company rose out of the ashes of a German aircraft manufacturing firm in 1917. The Treaty of Versailles putting an end to its building of fighter planes and bombers, but its heritage is still there in its logo. And while we visit these parts of Europe another world famous brand out of Switzerland, Toblerone. How many of you can see the dancing bear hidden in the mountain? Could this symbol be interpreted a little differently? The bear a symbol of strength trapped in the mountain. The company says that the design is a tribute to the Swiss town where the chocolate was developed, Bern which is also known as the city of bears. Probably the biggest brand logo on the planet is Coca Cola. A 2013 campaign in Denmark points out an unintended message, or so they say, hidden in the logo. The Danish flag is nestled between the O and the L. Maybe this is subliminally playing on the feeling of patriotism in that country. The London Symphony Orchestra logo is not only an acronym but also appears to be the image of an abstract conductor. This branding is not only found in consumer products. How about religion? The Presbyterian Church's logo is jam packed with symbolism. 
eight different religious symbols hide in the main image. Some more modern examples of these hidden messages are the world's biggest online e-commerce provider Amazon. The arrow in the Amazon logo points from A to Z, this showing the wide range of products available on the site. It also doubles as a happy smile. Maybe this also suggests consumerism and buying things brings happiness. One of the hottest selling products on the planet, Beats, has a hidden imagery, the B in its logo looking like someone wearing headphones. And probably the most innocent example of subliminal messaging would be Baskin and Robbins. The company's initials advertise its 31 flavors of ice cream. And finally, the Sony VO logo, the VA is designed to reflect an analog waveform, the IO is a binary code. So how do subliminal messages work? Are they as powerful as say the images made famous by the movie They Live? Subliminal messages are thought to be so potent because they have the ability to influence us without us being consciously aware they are doing so. This influence of persuasion is similar to auto-suggestion or hypnosis. This is when a person can be encouraged to relax. This so suggestions can be directed to the deepest parts of the mind. Science says research doesn't show any effect on people's subconscious. Maybe they have been paid off because other research in a case of subliminal advertising in 1957 at a New Jersey drive through theater flashed the words drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn every five seconds during a six week run of the film Picnic. The subliminal message was said to have increased Coke sales in the lobby some 58% and popcorn sales 18%. This manipulation led to an avalanche of criticism from angry citizens. This gave rise to an inquest where congressmen produced research on the subject and with conflicting results. It is said that this event is fiction. But it would seem like a strange story to rise out of a small cinema. The truth is, yes, even if scientists, researchers and psychologists continually say no. In A. E. Kasdin Encyclopedia of Psychology, it says that subliminal perception occurs whenever stimuli presented below the threshold or limit for awareness are found to influence thoughts, feelings or action. This control may go beyond commercial applications. Are subliminal messages being used in other areas? Is it another tool wielded by the powerful to control the masses? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching we are if. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.